Well, we've involved everyone across the organization. They know the goals, they know that what we're trying to achieve, it's part of everybody's performance expectations. So they know that when they get evaluated, there will be a piece of that, starting with my role, all the way down to the frontline staff, that quality, patient satisfaction, and safety will be critical to how they do in their performance. We've involved physicians, dyads of physicians and nurse managers, and they know on the units and at the departments what their dashboards are, what they're going to be held accountable for. And because we're a teaching hospital, we also involve our residents, and all of our residents are involved in quality and safety and performance improvement projects. Well, th that takes a long time um, because people do not always feel comfortable, but I think the place to start is to make sure that it's not punitive, that when people bring forward issues of safety, that they know it's okay to bring it up. We actually reward people and thank them for bringing forward. We also are a part of what they call the patient safety net. So online, people can anonymously and without being worried about anything happening, report not just safety events, but things that might happen. Near misses, things they identify as potential uh, for safety hazards. So um, it's worked great. And the bigger the numbers are, the better I feel, uh, because that means people are really utilizing it. Quest for Quality Award means a lot externally and internally. I know our community and our state are very proud of the University of Wisconsin. This just really adds to that. Uh, but we really, I believe, receive the citation of merit because of our active work in involving patients and families throughout the organization. And we are very proud of the fact that we don't do anything without patients and families involved. And now we're getting recognized for that. We have 150 patient and family advisors across the organization. 11 patient and family advisor councils, and they are involved in setting policies, helping us design buildings and facilities, uh, helping us to figure out what is important to the patient. They're on our board quality committee. They're soon to be on our senior executive mid committee and meeting with us in our meetings every week. Uh, we really don't do anything without patient and family advisors involved.